Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary This is Total War Sun Zian campaign. This is episode 20. We pick it up from turn 119 in the spring season of 214. So, uh, hopping back into the things, uh, just taking a look at the map, we have made quite a push, you know, into the north. We pushed even farther but got pushed back. Uh, the situation is a little rough with multiple armies here, we gotta take care of that. But we slipped the army over here towards Han Xin's now capital. Han Sui died uh, during the end of turn, old age. We gotta watch that too for Sun Jian because he's getting old in the tooth. Uh, and hopefully we can be king, uh, get emperor before he dies off. Uh, we're missing 73 points, might be a little bit too much because we're not building tall anywhere, so we're not getting that huge prestige point from the settlement upgrades. But if we do take enough land, you know, I intend to cross the river, grab these three, before coming back over here into the horse pasture, but that's another issue. Uh, we are also plugging leaks over here. Uh, Tao Ying has taken the land, but Sun Quan's army is coming down to retake it. There's enemy armies here from Liu Bei. We have an army here to defend. Uh, they have armies uh, here with Zhang Chao uh, right next to us. We can use ownership. Uh, we have an army here trying to hold back them. And so, yeah, we're a giant ship with many, many little holes, and hopefully we can get through all of that. Um, and I think we can. So let's start with some easy stuff. Get rid of these uh, yellow turbans. The pesky cost of dealing with uh, peasantry builds. Uh, we're not doing very great in terms of our peasantry build. We haven't built our commander is tall. We don't have really great administrators. We have decent administrators. And Sun, Sun Jian is not a faction that gets many administrators. Uh, we only have whatever the regular amount is the game allows, uh, which uh, right now is three. Uh, we didn't get the reform, so it could be four. Uh, at max, I think we're going to end up with five administrators. Uh, not as crazy as our Liu Bei campaign where you can get up to eight, since the unity gives you more administrators. So we do have to end up being picky with uh, how we develop our commanderies. So those easy stuff are done. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting fight because we don't have night battle and there's huge stacks here. Uh, meanwhile, I believe we can leave March because we're not going to be able to attack them anyway. So we might as well get a turn of regular walking in so that we can be healthy and fully energized when we get here. Now they do have an army here which caught me by surprise. I thought maybe their capital would be undefended but... Oh, Han Sui's daughter. Very young. Hmm. Getting ideas already. Uh, because, as you know, one of our sons still single. 31 now. Uh, Lu Zhi wouldn't die, so she can't get married because I want her to marry uh, Guo Jia. And I could do it now, but I want to put them in the army together first. Check out if they're compatible or not. If they're not compatible, then Sima Yi is getting a lucky date. Uh... All right, that's not really relevant. Let's pick up a reform. We got the shaft mining last time. Combined with that, we've been working on getting our copper mine upgraded. Uh, that's pretty much all the corruption reduction we can get uh, from the reform tree. Um, this is the one that gives the extra administrator. Oh, there's another one. So we can get up to six. Six administrators. And that's about it, I think. We're never going to pick this one up. One extra assignment, public order, character salary. That might actually be a very useful one. Uh, temple's not worth it at this point for us because we're not really going to use it to fight off public order. Temple's really great in Mandate of Heaven because it combats fervor really, really well. So that 20% is really nice. Uh, we'll see. Eventually, maybe we get to the point where we get yellow dragons, but right now it doesn't look like it. Um, this is not... This is great because it's 15 income from all source, but the level 5 state workshop building, we can't enjoy it until we get a tall build commandery, which we don't have. This is also nice, except for we don't have silk anymore. Hmm. This is probably the biggest boost to income. This is useful a bit later. See, the problem with a lot of these uh, builds here, like getting level 5... Um, this is what, uh, in level 5 private workshop, level Y state workshop, is that we don't have a tall commandery. 
and this is level five um, marketplace with a silk upgrade and the silk uh, the spice port. The spice port might be a good purchase since we do own two of the three spices, and we just abandoned our peasantry build altogether. Um, hmm. Let's get this. Fifteen percent all sources just too strong. And money is basically our, our main concern. Alright, they fully moved. This fight... How do we approach this? Ganyin is just a little hurt. If we stay in ambush mode... I don't know how well they can work together. That's the thing. Like, they can't... This, this completely blocks the mountain path. So we don't even need to be ambushed. We can seriously, like, just stand here. And like let them know that we are um, reinforcing, and I feel like we can beat them. But anyways, we're gonna spend this money right away. We've been holding that off way too much. Um, one free, one extra assignment. We'll we'll deal with that at the end. This army here. Do we have any targets to hunt? We could, but then we kind of leave us exposed a little bit, and we're not gonna get too much money from them. Anyone carrying any good item worth fighting? Oh my god. Alright, we're fighting them. Grey Elite. That's worth it. We're going to delegate. 16%. Uh, it's a little low, but... Fingers crossed. She has resiliency, so she can't die. Come on. Give us that Grey Elite. Any chance? Oh, yes. I don't need that one. I'd rather have 500 gold. So we could do this, and we can satisfy our mission. Uh, what do you call it? The, um, the Invoke Faction mission. We need to do it one more time this turn uh, to get this mission completed. Oh, that's not what it is. All right, then we're invoking right away. We should have we should have invoked before we kill the rebels because often they ask to kill the rebels. Oversight. All right. Yeah, they want us to defend. Wait, this is armor craftsman. That's not important. That's a good upgrade. That's impossible. That is something we would do. Right. So we do have a rebel mission. So that's good. All right, we gotta march them back. We got gray elite. The gray elite is going either on Taishu Tsu. Which would help his um, uh, expertise as well, and also would make him be able to kite around on the battlefield easier. Or alternatively, well actually not really, because uh, heavy mass but low speed. Extra charge damage. So it's best for charging into fights, not for kiting. Uh, who is going to be... Oh, 20% huh, armor. This is quite good, actually. Hmm... Who else is on, you know, pretty busy fighting, gets in the thick... Oh, I know who gets in the thick of things. Our son, who is holding a 9,000 cost retinue that can't come onto the field. Because we recalled him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. Here, we're going to give it to Taishutsu first. If our son ever gets onto the field, he gets to have it. But right now, he doesn't. Now I'm tempted to fight this group. Now, mm, now we'll, we'll reinforce. Because I was thinking that recruit uh, re uh, recruitment worked, but it doesn't. They are super annoying. I don't know what will happen, though. I don't know if I should throw some men there. They took it. We're taking it back. First fight. Sun Quan's life here. Real fight. He's been hunting uh, rebels for a while. Onyx dragons. We can do it pretty cleanly since it is kind of a garrison fight. But decently clean. I mean, we don't have the range advantage on these. But um, yeah, I think we'll do it. No chance to capture him, huh? Kind of want some free onyx dragons, but I guess we can't. Let's just jump into here. That's the faction leader with terrible items. All right, let's go. Alrighty, uh, we jump in here. 
We do have to pick an entrance, though. We're very familiar with this map because <laughs> we've been defending this forever. You guys didn't see how many defense I've played here. Been cutting those out. Uh, so we're going to pick one of these uh, side doors just so that they have to walk through. Um, the elevation is really weird because they're in like this, you know, basin area. We can't see them. So we want to pick one where there's enough clearing, like say here, where when they come out, they can't flood us. Hmm. Three doors, trees. Uh, there's also the possibility where they don't come out. I gotta think about that. Hold on. If they don't come out, then we still want to be on this side. Then we can send a guy here to spy, to kind of see. I don't like the trees. I don't like the trees. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe this is it. This is the best place. There's a slight high ground here that we can spy from. We can send in um, the girl. She's she's a sentinel. She's strong. Um, all right, let's do it. We'll set up here at the beginning, assuming they'll charge out. And if they don't, we'll adjust. All right, leave your retinue. Alright, she is going to start out here and sneak her way to the top of the hill there. We are going to put up some barricades uh, on this side. And some fire here as well. See, we don't see anything because of the base. And we don't even know if they come out or not until we see them come out. Um, but if we get a little bit of high ground here... We can kind of see, and there's really no tower that can hit us, so we can even like just keep walking straight. It's fine. Uh, even if we walk to here, we can we're, we'll be fine too, actually. Okay, we see the units. Doesn't seem like they're coming out. All right, I want to see where do we get most visibility on the units inside. Don't get hit when we're here. <laughs> we just can't see them. Um, this is awkward. I mean, how are we supposed to hit them if we can't see them? There we go. There we go. Got some visibility here. Uh, let's not waste too much ammo. How many did we hit? 15 shots left. Okay. So now we can play move forward. If, uh, we can try to hit the tower off. They might come out if we burn the tower. Let's use both of them at the same time. Ah, oh, it's raining. We should use the regular shots. Alright. It's burning. It's burning. It's fine. Stop shooting. Alright. Tower's gone. Are they going to come out? Negative. Okay, we can shift our armies up then. Let's see, how should we approach this? She's giving us visibility, so she's not moving anywhere. Um, we'll move them first. This tower is still up, but we can move safely to about here, no problem. Their archers might start shooting at us. Oh, no, those have very short range. These have the long range. All right, we'll go here. They'll move first. They'll move second. All right, we'll get up close here. All right, they're going to stay inside. We're going to have to win at the end with cavalry, I guess. It's coming. We just want to knock out the range units, to be honest. Not many... Sp yeah, these spear units are from the garrison. They're quite weak. Even though it's raining, it's better against people. There's explosion damage, so splash. 
we're not that accurate because we are oh dear oh dear that's what we didn't want to happen they are coming out okay well they're gonna soak up the damage from the archers and we're gonna pound the door At least they waited till we finished moving up. It would have been a disaster if we we're halfway moving up and they start hitting us. Wow, Sun Quan, you're angry. Angry man right there. These are what? Heavy spear guards. Ooh, pound these, pound these. Fire. Fire. Yes, there we go. One more. Don't care about these. Got to kill the heavy spear guards. But the good news is we have axe men, which is very good against shielded units. All right, you can come out now. We can see them. Hold on. We're gonna let you guys auto for a little bit. We have to worry about getting charged off to the side because they're coming right here. That one's gonna die that one though intercept that please oh no they went for the shield wall what an idiot all right pound them or these guys onyx dragons we can't do much about but try to get a flank off go kill those no one wants to duel. Try to go kill a strategist, why don't you? Alright, charge the repeating crossbowmen. They didn't actually try to flank us, they just went for the corner unit. Which means these guys are pretty free to flank. Alright, the cavalry is going to flush out the range units. Although there's a couple of spear behind, which is annoying. Oh, actually, back off, back off, back off. Hit that point. Alright, once we get an angle, go. Sun Quan, I thought I sent you to chase strategist. Strategist, not this mean fellow. We have infantry to do that. Strategist. No, 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 no. Wrong unit. Stay on this Onyx Dragon. Alright, we win. And we kill the general. Alrighty. First win for our second son. Yay! Alright, we have high hopes for him. We need to snatch this from Liu Bei's force. I want to use this as bait instead of Badong, which is really hard to defend. So, if we are going to leave, we need to leave and come back. And we need to fight it manually, so we take no loss. Let's do it. Night battle. Start battle. I'll cut this out. I just don't want to take any damage. Alright, we failed to have no damage. Uh, because the enemy general had unbreakable. Awkward. Had to end it with a duel. We won that one, but I didn't realize she had unbreakable till a bit late. So we took a little bit of archer damage because I thought we could just leave them. Oh, we didn't crush it. That's terrible. Uh, we need to go back. There's no choice here. We'll crush it later. They just ran, so uh, can't do anything about that. Um, let's see. We got all the rebels done. We got this group done so we should just recall them there's a very simple mission this one yeah Changsha armor craftsman we can do this real quick 
呃，鲁肃。至柔如水，以应万变。召集众人，有要事商议。Replenishment. That's very nice. 大人有何打算 ？All right, we have eight k. We have one fight left, so we have more money coming. This fight right here is coming up. 立刻群敌。All right, they won't run, and we'll drag them into reinforcement. Drag them into reinforcement, and them. This is the group I'm scared of. If we fight him, he might. Ah,、uh, let's test it out. Actually, we're gonna start with him. He's willing to fight. We also get a reinforcement. We're outnumbered, but quite a bit. At least a thousand men. The reason why I picked them is because their army is actually pretty strong, and I want to use most of our shots on them. Ah,、oh, they're not reinforcing. So the two strong armies are fighting us. Hmm. Sure. I think we can take them on. We have Ganning, you know. He is missing a huge chunk of health, but all right. At least no one have any really good weapons. Ooh, ooh, ready lead. Is this the 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 turn with the many horses? Right, we're fighting Han Sui, who probably owns the animal tamer. It looks like. Okay, we'll try it. I think we can do it. We do have decent generals too. All right, let's go. Alrighty,、uh, we're loaded up in here. The reinforcement is coming from the left side, so R is coming from the right side. So that's perfect. We're just gonna tilt to the right side. We also get a nice elevation boost here, which is lovely. We're just gonna lay out our units here. And pull them right behind. We're gonna do shield wall, so that they still absorb enemy archers. We can hide them very well here. The potential of a flank from this direction should be very good. He will hold down the fort and take on any general that charges too close. She will just hide in behind,、uh, give a buff to his ability hamstring. Oh, actually,、uh, it's too much risk to run her alongside him, but she would basically half the the cooldown here with her ability. All right, they're gonna come pretty far. We're gonna put it here. Gonna put some spikes to protect our flank, I guess. Wait, why can't we put it there? Wrong direction. There we go. Uh, probably here. Yeah. Let's start. We'll walk him up. Column five. We'll assign our reinforcement first. Let's see what we have. All right, not bad. We can do an angle here. Where they can go out here. Two more units. So this make our right flank a little stronger, and then he can just flank guard. He can kind of absorb arrow here on the side, maybe in the front. All right, cool. All right, we gotta be careful here. We do want to, you know, get a few hits in, but we don't want to like overcommit and die. We don't have much health. Can't get. Can't get rushed. Oh, they have a tower too. All right, watch out for that. They're trying to group up before they walk forward, so we have some chance to maybe loop around, avoid their cavalry a little bit. We can also go slow, save some energy so we're not tired. We can't go close because I don't want to get shot by the arrow tower. They don't see our army, so they only see him. So that's why they're all chasing me, which is okay. Oh, which is not okay. Which is not okay. Run away. All 
Alright, now they're gathering with uh, their main force. Uh, I just want to. I just want a hail of arrow, but I don't want to die. Maybe I let them too close to the arrow tower. Oh, they see us! Crap! 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 There goes our flank. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flank from this side. Keep moving. Can I pull them away from the forest? I. Uh, we could try to start. Hmm. We could try to start a forest fire, actually. Right. Oh, they're pulling out. That's fine. Save a little bit of ammo, I think. Even though we're killing the right ones, but... I have to... I think I have to manually shoot. Try to get it efficiently. Alright, they're not really hidden right now. Let's hide. We haven't got a chance to hail the arrow yet. Let's just do one right here from distance, even though we won't kill many, but... Whatever. Oh! Uh, uh, we kill- okay, we kill five. It's not completely worthless. There we go. The tower wasn't taken, so that's good. I'll pull him back a little bit. They actually don't have charge resistance, if I remember correctly. Hold on. I don't think we'll get knocked off our horse. Yep, they don't. This actually means they're super vulnerable. Alright, cavalry. Pull them out, pull them out, pull them out. So just counter charge. We'll free up the archers for something else later. Health arrow in the face. Come on, come on, come on. Cool down, cool down. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, that's it. One shot. Alright. We flattened that. We took down the Pearl Dragon. Alright, we're going to stop firing. The rest will use our cavalry and archers to kill. Make sure you guys finish the job on him. Yep, because he's going to rally back. Alright, we're going to use archers to kill the rest. Let our spear unit absorb a little bit of the enemy archer, and it's fine. Because we got to save up for their reinforcement army, which is pretty strong too. Oh, they captured it. So they're, they're over there. They're coming. Hmm. There's a rivalry buff? Close relative buff. Oh, that's not that strong. Yep, we were just thinking about that. Oh, faction leader, what do you know? Your dad just died. Actually, let's get close to him. I was trying to throw traps on the ground where we stood. Oh, I misclicked. I misclicked. Wait, do we not click him? Yeah, oh, I canceled. There we go. Clo that, wow, close range shotgun. Close range shotgun. Perfect. Alright, he can win that, no problem. Oh, here comes the enemy units. So far, Gunning lost 7,000 health. Uh, still very healthy. I'm gonna send them out to kill some archers. Where's our other cavalry? Yep, pull them back into a flanking position here. I'll crush that. Our own archers! 
Oh, that's a big debuff. That evil strategist. Guo Tu? Oh, Guo Tu? You're not working for Yuan Shao anymore, huh? Well, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second, one second, one second. One second. Are we probably not close enough? Hold on, hold on. Not close enough. There we go. Hello. Hello. Shoot him. Wow. One shot. Okay. Chase them. They're done. So come back since they're done. I hope you win. Come over here and give him the buff that decreases cooldown. 4.9. Oh, 9.7. We're, we're good. Reactivate. Reactivate. Fire at will. Over here. Don't. Uh, they shot these. I knew it. Don't know how to target select. Alright, gotta use that ability. Kill her? Nope. Mm. There we go. We won. Yeah, see the. There we go. Ooh. Split the head. Alright, we gotta watch how we're shooting these. Hold on. That looks like a strong group. Alright, bounce back a little bit of health. Uh, pull back to this point. Pull back. Alright. Hmm. She's unbreakable. Could be a little rough later. We're gonna pull away. I move them instead of shoot. Ugh, terrible. Alt right click, alt right click, not just right click. Alright, I'm gonna let them fire by themselves. I'm gonna shift everyone up a little bit instead of moving the trebuchets back, which will take away valuable shooting time. Speaking of valuable time, what are these? Saber, Militia, Spear Guard, okay. Oh, we finally lit it up by accident too. I didn't aim for it. Okay, two seconds to a really good one. Come on. Watch that density. Two unit overlapped. Gunny, pull out your bow. Pull out your bow. We're at 76 kills right now. 112, 124, 130, 138. Doubled our kill right there. Right. Throwing their traps at us again. That fire is going to slow down a bunch of units, including those archers. These guys are still waiting in the wings. Uh, nope. No thank you. We're, we're injured now. We're not interested in that. We're stalling a few spear guards, which is great news. Are these repeating crossbow? No, they're regular crossbow. Man. Charge out. Mm, not yet. This side's too many spears. Alright, we're not gonna mess with their cavalry. That's what kills us. They're tired. They're on march, and they had to come all the way down this. So they're very tired. Alright, there goes our trebuchet ammo. I feel like there's an opening here that they can take advantage of. Come take down the crossbow. Take down these guys. Take down this. Rescue your master. Alright. 138. 159. 174. 180. Are they gonna route? Maybe. No, no, they speared walled. Just kill them. 
Alright, spread out. Two of you on him. One on him. Ah, easy win. Easy win. We got this. Is he routing yet? Yeah. We didn't, we didn't even use our roar. We're saving that for when we get in trouble. Make sure they don't rally back. Stay on that one. Don't over chase on useless ones. Uh, just make sure they route. Alright. Oh, they're in a tough fight. Hmm. They're just stuck with that group. Alright, come help. We can take them. Gunning, come. We're out of archer shots too? Yeah, we're out of ammo. Well, throw your ammo. <laughs> throw your ammo. <laughs> Alright, they gotta finish them. Gunning's here to help with other units. They gotta get rid of this group, which is difficult. Alright, they beat them, so go help. They routed, come back. The generals are tough. Try to get a nice charge on the Saber Militia. And we'll get a nice shot on these guys. So that they get out of our cavalry's way. Ah, too far. We should have got closer. Okay, we gotta wipe their cavalry. Ooh, this is rough. Alright, now we wipe the general that doesn't have Unbreakable. We can get him to route before he use, before he use that ability again. Roar. He slammed the ground again. Right. Let him route, let him route. Kill the Unbreakable. They're still fighting or if we kill the strategist, what are we doing? Oh, uh, we just don't have ammo. Who said we don't have ammo? Throw your ammo. Force them back. Force them back. Pick them up. Kill. Wow. They are owning us. There we go. No, no, they don't, they don't need to do that. We can just take care of them close range. Oh, tough win. Alright. Alrighty. Pretty nice fight, I would say. The unbreakable general. 30-year-old. Her traits are not good, though. Her units are respectable. This one's strong. Hmm. I don't need her. We'll just get the money. We didn't actually lose that many units. Just the cavalry. So I think we'll just get income. Alright, we're surprisingly at 10k income. They're scattered. We have movement, so we can pick them off. One by one. Delegate. Uh, at this point, replenishment. Oh, we can't reach them. The forest. Well, they got lucky. Okay, so this army got us a lot of gold. We can finally spend that gold um, on an army, which is what we need. Maybe not here, but in the weapon craftsman. <laughs> Ironic how we have to defend that. Uh, but here I feel like with Tai Shi Tzu and four tribuches, they can't touch us. So I feel pretty safe. I don't want to lose the weapon craftsman. So far we got one nice um, 
legendary weapon. We have... Okay, so we have five more. So this can wait a while. We need to save three recruitment slots. Okay, so we don't actually have to recruit anyone everywhere, anywhere else. We could also wait till they land. Right? Then we recruit an army. Because then we know for sure they're going after this. What if we recruit an army and they don't go after it? Then be complete waste. Right? Since we're doing a militia heavy army anyway, so... A mercenary. So we don't need recruitment. We don't need replenishment time. So that actually means we can throw our money at development. Peasantry, commerce, peasantry. All right, we need the peasantry boost here. How do we not have... Tang Wu and Wu Ling, we have 585 here. Tang Wu has what, 365? 385? Come back. All right, so you have someone here. Our marketplace in Changsha ended as well. All right, this has over 500, so definitely send someone, please. You have a unique model. You're not level four yet, so let's a unique portrait. Correct that. Not model yet. Um, missing land development. Do we have the active assignment? Yes, so we should definitely build it. That's the whole reason why we got the assignment here. We're actually rich enough to afford everything, so definitely be picky here. Right here, we want to build conscription. Let's get that started. Mm, we're going to wait. We'll do already put the uh, work order in for the copper mine level 4 upgrade, so that's fine. That's fine. We don't have the silk trader here, which is a little awkward. That's a huge chunk of the income here. All right, 8K. I feel like we might want to just save that because we know we're going to pump out at least one full army, if not two full armies next turn over here. Let's do a war with everyone and war is going well. Uh, we're keeping Gundu alive as a friendly neighbor. Fr not friendly, but deterrent neighbor. The enemy has to go through him to get to us. And we can hold him off easy. Um, over here we're going to be able to attack Jinchong next turn which is great. And we can probably retake Wudu next turn as well. So let's go. Alright so while our army is away the Yellow Turban has launched the attack. Just as I said they were friendly neighbors. They defied it. Uh, it's a lumberyard again, so we have definitely experience in fighting this. And I actually feel like... Hmm. We don't want to lose it because we want our army to replenish. But it would be easier to kill them if they take it, because then they'll be trapped inside. Let them take it. I'm going to let them take it. All right, this way we can kill these after we come back. Because I figure there's going to be some items. I'll show you her. I don't know. We want the horse, I guess. All right, so Han Xin right away threw us uh, another 10k plus tr uh, peace deal. Reject. All right, so Domin asked Liu Dai to join the war against us. Sure, our new... F oh, asking his... Okay. It doesn't really matter, uh, in a sense. Uh, the uprising got crushed by someone else. We didn't do it. Liu Bei's army probably did it. Good guy Liu Bei helping us crush rebellions. And then probably went into ambush, so we gotta be careful here. Um, Drone Face sailed up again, so we have to walk up again here. I don't know what he will do though. What if we just take this and trade? Alright, Yuan Shu is definitely being, being annoying. Right, we gotta get back over here. This this little forest. Just for that horse though. It's worth it though. They got a bunch of items. 
We should keep them alive just for those items. We don't get to replenish though, which kind of sucks, but not a big deal. There might be an ambush ahead, but I want to retake it. I think this is not let them heal up is a great idea. Oh, they ran. No ambush. Oh, we can't reach them. Wait, wait, wait. Are they in? They're on march and inside? Are we sure we can't reach them? I, I see more movement on the ground, but apparently we can't reach them. That sucks a little bit. Okay, they are not defending their capital. We're going to take it. Um, let's save that for a little bit. Hold on. We got pull out an army. He's coming back to bottle. They have no siege weapon. There'll be enough time. We don't really have to recruit one since the army disappeared. We don't have to recruit one. No one's attacking us. We gotta just set up set up the rebel farmers. Oh, Han Yue, you left your faction? Gave up hope? Gave up on hope? Your brother is not doing a good job? Oh my god, how many how many traits did you pick up when you were a baby? How many bad traits did you pick up when you were a baby? I'm sorry, man. Your brother doesn't want you. We don't want you either. Tai Zhu Wen. Not a Burren officer. It's close. Comes with a nice horse, but Y Stallions, we have a bunch of, and we don't really use commanders, so. Gonna pass on that. Overpopulation. Can we get this done? Yes, we probably can. Four more turns. We can pick one to build. But right now, this turn, money is all going towards armies because we're defending that weapon craftsman. We could send Sun Ce over here. We have the money to do it this time. Hmm, Sun Ce killing Yuan Shu would be poetic. Alright, I'm going to set up that army, finish the battle in Jincheng, and end the episode. And we're going to kill off Yuan Shu next episode. Alright, it's going to hurt. That, but we need him We need him back on the field. Wife, 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 wife. Now, Ling Tong is gone. That was a spy. Gao Sheng. Oh, this will work. Zhou Tai. Alright, we're gonna use him. Huan Zhi. He's been with us for a long time. And he's decently young. So for her, this turn we're just gonna do... Mercenary Archer spam. Um... Give him two more of these, and then he won't recruit anything. Right. And we'll just sit here and see what he does, because... Tough luck. Your injured army plus our retinue, there's no way he beats us. Right, let's get the Jincheng battle out of the way. That would be a nice save point for us. Now I'm hoping they at least have a ministrator. They don't. Okay, so this will be a delegate. Save some time for us. Regional city here. Very big build. <laughs> Just abusing our high re replenishment and the fact that it's going to take us a while to get out because the army is still here. Hmm... We definitely could. I didn't look at what the 6th building is. We'll lose that 6th building, but we get 3,000 right up front. Let's do it. And we got a treasure... Stone Rat. Yeah, right, treasure. Alright, don't want that. Level 5... Oh, this is level 5 private workshop. But we want that version. Okay, hold on. We'll repair this. And we'll convert it once we get the reform. So that's the reform we're getting next time. 
Ah, uh, they don't have it at level 5 yet. We have to hold it at a small regional city. So we're going to build the state workshop, get it to level 5. We don't need this. Because it's not a marketplace, it's a market wharf. So it doesn't boost um, silk. If you look at the path, silk is only the land version. You, you can't have a harbor to boost silk. So we can get rid of that one. Hold on. Then, if we're going to keep this for a while because we're missing a bunch of reforms, we need to keep this as well. And this is perfectly fine. We'll convert it to a T version. That's the only thing that needs to be fixed. All right. Perfect. Um, hmm. Uh, so then we can put Han down here real quick if we really want replenishment by... I think we'll be solid in two turns, yeah. And this army is weak, so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, 3k left. We got the corner map. We have them on the run. We have them set up. We have this army set up. We are trying to chase back to Badong. Um, suspicious army available here. Or we can just snatch this. No, we just jump into the water and we can take it next turn. Yeah, that should be actually a pretty interesting approach. Um, we have a couple assignments, so we're going to get those done. This is Lady Wu's territory here. It doesn't matter if you don't like it. You know how much money this is? Who don't you get along with? Wei Huan. Oh, uh, fine. She, she, she can do it. Oh, we're now at 455. We upgraded something. Oh, we built this. <laughs> now we canceled for nothing. Although, although, I don't know which one's actually more. Okay, Yulin's definitely really, really high. What about Changsha, though? That's the question. 340, 75% of 340 is what? Uh, 80 minus 85, two, whew, 260, 255. And 50% of this is 225. So, okay, so this is still better. Hmm. Oh, Smartphone, you're still alive? I mean, we grabbed Samai's dad, but we didn't think he would live very long. We'll see what he does, and then we'll decide what we're going to do next turn. Um, do we have anything that we need to really build this turn? Oh, this we need to really build this turn. Other than that, I think we should save money. Okay, let's save some cash and go check this and go to next turn. If Yuan Shu dares to attack us, it'll be super funny. But let's continue. Okay, so here is Yuan Shu's offer instead of fighting us. He's willing to sign a peace deal with us. He will become our vassal. Ah, reject. All right, so Zhang Fei ran back. Very smart. He knows we can just sneak it. Hmm, this is interesting. We could maybe just actually sneak it. If he leaves again. He's on the run now. I don't know if we should chase him. Uh, we, I mean, we should chase him, but we can't. We don't have enough movement. No one has reach in this army. We'll just get close. And just see what he does. Oh my god, yellow turban on, on counter offense. What the? Hurry up. We're losing territories. Uh, that's awkward. I was not expecting this. Maybe a few generals and some militia units can hold them at bay. 
Just another in expensive investment, another army onto the field. All right, they're trying to run away. We're not going to let them do that. This is a delegate as well. Oh, captured her. Oh, Han, uh, Han Sui's daughter. I mean, she's not a great general. Doesn't mean she's not a great wife, but I need the 500 gold. Okay. We're going to get back, get in the water, sail all the way over here, go get wet. That's so far. That's their new capital? That is so far. Yeah, we need another army. We made a mistake. They recalled their force or they ran back? Something. Hmm. He has reach, which is good. So I guess we go for night battle and then wisdom the river. Do we have a sword for you? No. Okay. Super awkward. We can't let them slip into the Shu region. Alright. Trying to make a sneaky move. Their army disappeared, which is... Probably went back to the port, but I don't know, so I can't really afford moving. This is almost tier 3, and then we can start recruiting an army here as well. What about our rebel farmers? Because right now I feel like we got to deal with that too. That's many, many turns. Alright, we just need to summon one general here for now. We'll summon the rest next turn. We'll send out... Her, because she's level 3. And then we'll pick three good generals, or just decent generals. The retinue here is not bad. And with some generals and some militia armies, I think we can do it. Why can't we... Oh, max army count. Oh my god, max army count. So she has to go back. Sorry. Okay, Surya needs to stay. Surya needs to stay. We want sentinels and strategists. Strategists. Sentinels. Sentinels? I guess we could do and then put sentinel units on them. They might not get along, but they're strong generals. Right. Okay, this is just this is just pure expense because I don't intend to keep them on the field with the retinue, so we're not gonna overspend on the units matter of fact because these are all frontliners this is good i think we can beat them yeah i think we can beat them save cost army limit Ugh. we need to become king how close all right 43 away how old is sun Jian? oh almost 60 we gotta almost prepare for that 
transitional period. Don't want Lady Wu to take over. Um, hmm. Anything urgent? Or else we probably want to save money for armies. Seems to be the thing right now. Oh, right. A lot of things to convert here. And also need to build a state workshop here as well. That can't wait. That can't wait. Alright, 1500. Let's check. Still doing great. Let's go next. Alright, declare war on Domin. Alright, doesn't really concern us. They did some weird maneuvering. I, I don't know what happened, but the army's gone and they went... I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand what happened to the army, but we're taking this back. Right, I don't know. Oh, they just went north. Okay, they can't take the city. If they try to siege together, they can get back. So we're fine. I still think... Okay, we don't need them anymore. They can't reach us. Oh, so basically we spend, what, 3.5-ish K? Just for safety. That's worth it. 3.5k is not that bad. We'll make it back from them. Alright, two random generals. Uh, not a very good armor. Now the question is, do we expand or do we not? Because we had that issue last time when we expanded and they just clap back so hard. We could just get this. Oh, his army is right here. Oh, two armies plus horse pasture army. My mistake. My mistake. Where's our territory? Here. 28%. There we go. Alright, they still need replenishment. Um... The question is, how do we get to Wei? It's so far. Here's the road, here's the road, here's the road. I think you gotta like land here and then walk three turns into it. Let's heal up first. Because we're probably gonna have to <laughs> march quite far. He leveled up from assignment. Very wonderful skill tree. All right, is Yuan Shu? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, Zhang Fei went here. Okay, that's our cue. We stole Jiangling. Ah, Zhang Fei just. Need some brain cells there. Local hero, who do we get? We recover the city that we lost on that we had from turn one. Yu De Gong Populous, trusting, kind hearted. Not bad, you know. We could use him as a rebel farmer. Um now Zhang Fei is kinda in limbo. I don't think he's here. I think they recalled him or I, like where can he be there's there's no way to like if he ran this way look look how fast you can run this way so slow what we need to do is hop into no hopping the river is suicide hmm I'm questioning whether we should get rid of the retinue get rid of them Resummon them in fooling, summon the army, walk to Badong to reinforce. That's a viable plan, honestly. Uh, rebels we can take care of easily, not a big issue. Hmm.
Yeah, actually, that's a reasonable plan. We'll we'll do that first, and then we'll get rid of the rebels as a save point. So even though these are nice and level ten, it's okay. They'll get back to level ten quickly. We just can't afford to keep resummoning them. It's super expensive. Nine thousand for four units. It's cheaper to just recruit them. Now it'd be really funny if Yuan Shu was still around and just stayed hidden and burned through our salary. But then in the future we can just summon um, archers. Mercenary archers. Alright, they're back. This is super easy to take care of on this turn. All you need to do is, let's say we grab... Um, do we First of all, do we have four, three generals? One, two, uh, technically three. Why is she not available? Oh, assignments. Okay, so we can spin a little. Let's say we grab him. And he can be like a placeholder general for this turn. You guys seen this trick. You know what I'm talking about. And then we recruit the real army that we want. Which is her. Her. We call him. They suddenly have movement. Summon a third. Which we have. Down here, right here. Nope. Wait, wait, we had a third. Wait, we had a third. Where's our third? We don't have a third? Is Lady Wu's time to come out? Sure, she's level 7. I don't think she ever fought. Oh well, there's a first time for everything. Maybe she'll like it. Alright, that's our save. Alright, so looking forward, uh, we landed on the opposite side of Yangtze River. Well, I guess this technically is opposite side of Yangtze River. Oh, we retaken Jiangling. That's a big step. We tricked Zhang Fei's army. We're going to let Liu Bei have this. And we're going to just defend in Jiangling for a little while. Um, I feel like this is a better defend point because I think all of them will come attack us here. What is Tai Mao's army doing here? Anyways, if Zhang Fei wants to assault, we'll do the same plan. Recruit an army, uh, give them men, walk them over. If we lose Badong, we'll take it back. Uh, over here, we have retaken the choke point. We won't leave too far away. Uh, and then we got to get rid of these two armies in between, which shouldn't be an issue. Um, over here, we're kind of facing off against two armies, but we face worse odds. This army is really good. Gunning is just insane. And then once they heal up next turn, we'll sail them down, walk all the way into Wu Wei. Uh, take that down, take this down, take this down. I think once we get control of this side of the river, we'll be safe because you see they don't border the uh, Yellow River here, so no one really goes after them. And after we take all three, we'll sail back down and maybe not here because by that time maybe hopefully they would have cut through here and they can just land here maybe and uh yeah these two army will slowly take control of this area and that's our game right now uh trying to take control of the entire northwest while holding on and counterattacking soon Zhou Yu's army can you know get a full retinue soon too uh our economy is doing well but as you can see we're spending tons as we're making tons so see you guys next time bye